thanks very much for the introduction. So, uh, the topic of my talk, uh, let's say the research question, uh, is a research question that was already answered, at least, uh, let's say, partly, partly, because if not, uh, I will not be presenting it. Uh, it is, uh, what is the minimum length uh, uh, for uh, a text to be attributed uh, using a stylometry? I say, already answered, because uh, much Eder specifically dedicated his work to this uh, question, uh, coming to the conclusion that uh, you need uh, at least uh, to have uh, between uh, four, uh, let's say five, uh, or uh, in some cases 2,000 tokens or words uh, to attribute a text. You need a certain amount of material. Uh, but uh, this uh, might depend on many factors. Uh, that's why I wrote uh, 5,000 or uh, maybe 2,000. And one specific factor uh, I will be uh, examining today is the one of uh, the number of uh, candidate authors. Uh, because you might understand immediately if we have just uh, two candidate authors uh, and we wanted to attribute a text, uh, the task is quite easy and it becomes uh, much more complex when you have many different authors uh, and you have to decide uh, which one is the actual uh, author of a text. Uh, and I'm saying this also because uh, generally what happens in uh, research in authorship attribution is that uh, uh, the uh, actual stylometric analysis is uh, preceded by uh, some archival uh, philological research that uh, reduces uh, the number of candidates. So it's important to understand what is the efficiency also with a very limited number of candidate authors. Uh, for, doing, uh, for answering this question, I worked with uh, four corpora to have uh, a more interlinguistic perspective. Uh, you see working with uh, English, but also German, Italian, and French. Uh, here you have uh, some uh, details uh, of uh, the different uh, corpora that I used, uh, taken from uh, the Computational Stylistics uh, group, uh, but also from the LTEC collection uh, in uh, many different uh, languages. Uh, I also used uh, different uh, features for the analysis, uh, indeed, uh, between uh, two and 16 candidate authors, so working with a few and many candidate authors, uh, different uh, lengths of the text chunks to be analyzed, so starting from very small 200 words, a uh, very long 5,000 words, uh, different units of analysis, uh, most frequent units, uh, distances, uh, many, many things. I know a lot of information. Uh, if you want to have uh, some more precise details about uh, this, uh, you can uh, either try to get uh, this uh, QR code uh, or uh, write uh, down uh, this uh, link uh, that is uh, bit.ly uh, style or length uh, with uh, capital S and capital L. Uh, this will open a GitHub repository where I have uh, stored all of the scripts, uh, but also the slides, uh, the very slides that I'm showing to you now, so you don't have to uh, follow me, try to follow all of the details uh, in this uh, limited amount of time. Indeed, uh, what I did was uh, using the style package, a reference point for uh, stylometric experimentations. And let's say that uh, the setup was that of uh, randomly creating experimental setups by combining different features and specifically by selecting different lengths of text chunks and different numbers of candidate authors and then analyzing them through the combination of the different features that I showed so far. Uh, the analysis were repeated 20 times uh, to have uh, uh, some variance also to counter this randomness in the selection and the efficiency scores that I will show you are just a proportion of the correct attributions, a very simple uh, and direct uh, efficiency score. Uh, this is one result. Uh, this is an overview of the results, uh, let's say. Uh, what you can see here is uh, the dimensions of the text chunks, uh, moving, as I said, from 200 to 5,000, and then uh, an overview, a mean proportion of the correct attributions. Uh, here I show you really the mean of all of the different analyses analysis that were done by highlighting just two aspects. First of all, the number of authors, you see between two and 16, and the use or not of character engrams. Uh, there are two aspects that I highlighted there. First of all, when you work just with two candidate authors uh, with 1,000 words, you already reach 75-80% of the correct attributions. And character engrams, they work better, but only once you have a very short text, then it becomes even better to work with uh, just the words. 
Uh, I also experimented a little bit to see the differences in terms of distance measures, but this just confirms what was discovered by Everett and others in 2017, that the cosine delta, called also Würzburg, is the best performing the distance measure. And if we focus just on cosine delta, this is what I was showing before, but just using a cosine delta and not all of the other distances, we get even beyond 80%, with again two autos and 1,000 tokens. And you can notice that for German and Italian, we reach really a plateau at already 2,000 words, 2,000 tokens for the text. Uh, I conclude also with a note uh, that uh, might be interesting in itself, uh, just a curiosity. Uh, here I focus just uh, on the most frequent words, so not uh, using character engrams. And what I noticed uh, is that uh, you will see it uh, clearly with English, uh, French, and German, maybe a bit less with Italian, but uh, still uh, the efficiency decreases when uh, you use a high selection of the most frequent words for doing uh, your uh, stylometric attribution. Uh, this uh, has uh, many possible explanations, and indeed uh, it depends, uh, first of all, uh, on uh, the length of uh, the text uh, that you are analyzing. Uh, here I'm showing you the differences uh, there are between uh, uh, working with very short uh, text, uh, 200 tokens, uh, and very long uh, text, uh, 5,000 tokens. And you see that uh, the correlation is practically negative when you work with a very short uh, text, uh, but then uh, it becomes uh, quite uh, positive with long uh, text. The same goes with candidate authors. If you have two candidate authors, uh, if you use uh, a very wide selection of most frequent words, uh, the attribution does not work that well. But then it becomes a good idea once you have 16 authors for your analysis. Okay, let's say that uh, his uh, is a primary uh, preliminary presentation of the results of this research. Uh, the final goal would be that of having an overview of estimated efficiency scores uh, to give us uh, some possible guidelines uh, for people who would like to do uh, research in authorship attribution uh, working with very specific uh, setups uh, so that uh, you have a certain number of candidate authors, uh, a certain dimension of text, uh, and so on. So you can see here a possible initial example of what can be produced, but indeed to me is the first step and I'm open also to possible collaborations and I will indeed go on working on these. Thanks for the attention.